Mayor Eric Garcetti and Council Member Marquise Harris Dawson celebrated the opening of a new navigation center in Council District 8. The center, a first for South LA, is a resource for those experiencing homelessness where they can shower, store belongings, and work with counselors on job and mental health services. I think it gives a lot of hope to both the folks working with people who are homeless, the outreach workers, and homeless people themselves, because it's a sign that things can get better. The voters passed Proposition HHH. Some of that goes to housing for folks who are just needing affordable housing. Some of that will go for housing for people on the streets. And some of it goes to navigation centers and facilities like this that helps people on that journey to housing. The Los Angeles Fire Department announced the winner of their inaugural LAFD Photo of the Year competition. Photographers from across the region captured images of the LAFD in action, with 22 selected as semi-finalists. Dakota Clark's winning image was taken at the November 12th Greater Alarm Structure Fire in Palms. The competition was held on Instagram and the photo stream garnered over 15,000 views. Hello Dakota Clark, we want to congratulate you on a job well done on taking a picture that encompasses everything that a firefighter does. The top four finalists were awarded with the ultimate LAFD swag bag from the LAFD Foundation as well as a special challenge coin from Fire Chief Ralph Terrasas. As we reflect on the challenges of 2020, LA Animal Services has released a year in review highlighting some of their new programs started during the pandemic. One of their earliest responses was opening two pet food pantries that give pet owners experiencing financial burdens food assistance. Animal Services then created monthly online events for people who adopted pets to get helpful advice and ask questions. And they launched a Lost and Found Facebook page to reunite any lost pet with their owners. It has been a lot of work that is still ongoing, so if you'd like to make a tax-deductible donation to help out, please visit LAAnimalServices.com.